Good evening po sa bawat isa. This is Mentor Byron Santa Ana, the founder and president of PAC Incorporated or Philippine Advocates for Consultants and Trainers Incorporated. Salamat po sa paghihintay and uh, we are all very excited to uh, listen to our guest resource person for tonight. But before that, once again, this is Usapang Partners, a free online learning brought to you by the Philippine Advocates for Consultants and Trainers Incorporated. May we humbly uh, and strongly encourage po everyone to share itong ating live stream because napakaganda ng topic natin for tonight. Ang topic po natin ay creating a marketing plan, simplified, a masterful introduction. Wow, topic title pa lang eh. Alam ko, alam natin lahat na very uh, substantial ang mapag-aaralan natin. And uh, for you to be able to share this live stream with other people, your family and friends, Pakisabi lang po sa kanila to like and follow our Facebook page, official Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash back Philippines or just look it up on Facebook. And uh, go ahead, share this to a lot of people and even start to create a watch party para maraming tao ang may matutunan regarding our topic bago tayo lahat magpahinga sa isang napakaganda at napakaproductive na Saturday. So, huwag na po nating patagalin. I-introduce ko na po ang ating guest resource person for tonight. Ang guest resource person po natin for tonight ay uh, happens to be the Vice President for Internal Affairs ng Philippine Advocates for Consultants and Trainers Incorporated. Siya po ang President ng KJR Dental Center. Meron po silang uh, maraming clinic sa South. At President ng D-Marketing Philippines at Master Academy. And we're just gonna have our guest resource person you know, talk some more about his uh, entrepreneurship endeavors. Siya po ay isang BSBA marketing graduate sa Letran College at master's degree holder MBA sa University of Perpetual Health Rizal. He's been in the training industry for 22 years now. Wow, napakatagal na. And he started as an account executive in the corporate setting and became successful and became a multiple awardee in sales marketing then eventually started doing his own business. So, ano pang hinihintay natin? Let's uh, bring in our guest resource person for tonight. Mr. Roche Ruiz, MBA. Good evening. Magandang magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Good um, evening, evening uh, Sir Roche. Yeah. Kumusta naman yes, Sir Roche ang iyong uh, araw evening, before but... I turn? Mabuti. Kumusta naman po ah, ang iyong uh, Saturday? All right, that's great to hear. It's so, a great uh, Saturday Roche. this morning. Yes. Okay. Okay. We're very excited, Sir so, so Roche. Um, I'm gonna mute myself and uh, uh, stop my cam for now, and I'll turn everything over to you about creating marketing plan, right. simplified, a masterful introduction. Oh. Okay, thank you very much, President Myron, and to all Philippine advocates for consultants and trainers. This is a great avenue. Again, this is a great opportunity for us to learn from each other. This is also a great opportunity for all of us to learn and uh, share what we've got and share our. Uh, all our experiences and I hope you join us I hope you'll be able to learn a lot from this presentation as my introduction says this is gonna be just simplified this is just gonna be simple and short so uh, but this is I'm, I'm, I'm definitely confirming that this is gonna be a masterful introduction if you want to create your marketing plan and to all the viewers of course we have several viewers who joined the watch party let's listen and enjoy this uh, while we are in the enhanced community quarantine at kitang kita niyo naman po medyo may bigote na ang yours truly okay so i'll proceed with the uh, the marketing plan simplified okay so here's the topic so first first and foremost i would definitely love to invite each and everyone to join us no you can just like message our page philippine advocates for consultants and trainers and you can learn a lot from us you will definitely enjoy this You'll definitely have a lot of fun. At the same time, we're going to teach you how to be a how to become a great consultant, great speaker, and great learners at the same time. And we're also gonna learn from you if you are equipped, if you are already been there for so many years. Okay. And just to share share with you our uh, collaboration for this year, our team is impactful collaboration. As you can see, all of the trainers are here, so we definitely invite you to get on board. And you're gonna have a lot of fun with us. Okay, so so much for Philippine advocates for consultants and trainers. I'll proceed with the discussion flow. I wanna give you a discussion flow. First, I wanna introduce, of course, as President Byron already had said, who am I and what I do? 
I also want to touch a little bit on what is marketing, marketing plan, and what is marketing. And of course, we'll be able to discuss the steps in creating MP or what I call the marketing plan in simplest way. So we have basically three, three major topics and let's get ahead. Okay, okay. This is uh, yours truly. You can uh, always get uh, to my Facebook page and YouTube channel. All you have to do is just look for Rochi Ruiz MBA in marketing. Now, I call myself master, although I'm not a master of everything. I just love what I do, marketing. I just, I am also an author. I'm speaker, trainer, entrepreneur, and resource person at the same time. So I just break it down. It's, it's basically a master. Now, I am a husband and not just a father. So who am I? I am Mr. Ruiz, a husband and a dad, not just a father. So it, it, it's so easy to be a father, but it, it, it's so easy to be a father, but it takes a lot of courage to be a dad. So you have to be a dad, not just a father for all the men out there. And I do a lot of uh, speaking in engagement, and this is basically my distribution business. When I travel, when the, they, they hit a certain amount of, of target, of course, they will be coming with me in my international trip. So these are all my staff that works for me in my distribution channels, in my distribution business. Of course, there are several more businesses and small businesses, no? And these are the list of partners that I do have. I'm the exclusive distributor of SmileLine from Switzerland. And this big, I am also the exclusive distributor of Dr. Plotcast USA and Tedekin Argentina, LMR of Finland, Global Dent USA, and CMS from Denmark. Now, and uh, I also, as discussed a while ago, I'm, I'm also the president of KJR Dental Center, the board secretary of uh, trustees of Credit Cabo Claude in, in, in Paranaque. I would like to make mention that they are also watching right now and also Cabo Claude Foundation. So we do have a foundation. We send students to, to education to, to, to have a good life. No? And uh, of course, DM, BioHealth Lick of Singapore. And I'm very proud of this. For those uh, PAC members, I definitely would like to invite you to be Speakers Bureau of Master Academy. So uh, probably in the middle of this year or probably later, third, third quarter of this year, we'll be able to open up our Master Academy in, in the South. No? Okay, so creating a marketing plan, a masterful introduction. Let's go ahead with uh, the topic. So what is a marketing plan? Let's start with this. A marketing plan is a part or an overall business plan. It should be solid in terms of, it should also be comprehensive. So a marketing plan should have the executive summary and describe business and in activities involved in accomplishing specific marketing or even the totality of the business. Remember, in, in, in creating a business, you must have a mission, vision. You must have one team. You must conclude that you, are, you have one plan and you have to have one goal. And marketing plan is one of the essential tools in creating and objecting in attaining that particular objective or goal. And as I said in my, in my webinar this morning, if you have all of those vision, then you wanted to do more and more and more. So you have to do it one more time, okay? So when we talk about marketing plan, it is a must. It is a prerequisite in your business. And this is a spinal cord of your business. So this morning we have discussed about with Dr. Arby, about the ergonomics, the, the proper positioning, the proper seat, uh, the proper stature inter when you are seated in your room or in your office. So you need to have a spinal column. But this one in the business, when we talk about marketing plan, this is a spinal cord, the one that is in the middle of the spinal column. Okay, so let's move ahead. Let's get started again. Of course, uh, let's just continue to greet all of the watchers, Dr. Joy, Dr. Christina Robles. Uh, Mr. Jericho, Dr. Sarah Joy, magandang uh, gabi sa yung lahat, Mary Jane. I'll proceed with the topic. So if, if you are watching in your home, you are seated in your office probably after dinner, can we hear from you? Can you write down in your, the, in, in your comment, what do you think is marketing plan? What is the definition of marketing plan for you out there? I, wanna, I, I would just like to read one, then I will proceed with the... Uh, with, uh, with, with my topic, with my presentation. Uh, so, so please comment so that we'll continue with the presentation. So what is marketing? 
So hello, partner from uh, Saudi. So we have uh, we have a uh, watcher from Saudi. Magandang magandang uh, uh, gabi po sa inyong lahat. Uh, today is 8, 8, 10 in the in the evening in the Philippines. So we have now. Okay, it, it's gonna take us so long. So we just have to continue with this. So marketing plan. Marketing. So what is marketing? Marketing is uh, uh, some people will say this is an exchange of process. This is an exchange for in monetary system. This is an art. This is an activity. Basically, all of those definitions are correct. But I do have a, 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 a situation where in 30 years ago, the definition is a process of satisfying customer needs and wants. So that is basically the definition of marketing plan. If you are going to talk about the the standard definition 30 years ago. You no, know? but I wanna, you know, I'm a crazy guy. I wanna tweak it a little bit for the benefit of the marketing people. So the real definition today's generation, today's time, is I would just like you to focus your attention in these slides. It's a process of profitably satisfying customer needs and wants plus their expectation. I would like to make mention that I add two specific words there. It should always be when you're gonna do marketing, it should always be profitable, no? And it should always be managing their expectation. So you just, so it's an art, it's a science, but it's also a process of profitably satisfying customer needs and wants. Remember, marketing needs and wants. So aside from satisfying their needs, and you also have to get their wants. So this is the beauty of what marketing is, okay? So it should be profitable, needs and wants, and expectation. So let's proceed with five simple steps. And here's the first, is, is the clue. So if you do have bold pen, and if you do have papers on your table there, this is a recommendation that you have to write this down. Now, anyway, you can review this, but uh, this is a great opportunity for you also to uh, be prepared with all of the steps needed in creating your business. Alam nyo, uh, when you're going to start the business, it's not just you do have capitalization. That's not going to be enough. If you do have capitalization and you have the skills, so you have to have preparations. You have to have this kind of marketing plan. So that's why uh, the organization, the Philippine Advocates for Consultants and Trainers, are preparing you to have your own business. And this marketing plan is basically uh relatable this is basically uh, adaptable to any kind of business so if you're going to go into consultancy this is also perfect if you're going to go to medical dental this is also perfect if you're going to go for your training company if you want to proceed with your business with other kind of businesses so this is a great avenue for you to learn this uh, uh marketing plan so we have five steps the so five okay so five but in those five steps, we have what we call the one and the two. The first two steps involves the right preparation. Okay? So preparations now. And the three parts is the action. Okay? So write it down. So you have, must have two steps in preparation and you have three steps in the action. So let's start with the number one. Okay? So all of you there, this is very important. Number one preparation is you have to identify the product benefits. Sorry. Okay. So first, you must know that your product is your idea, your service, talent, training, or the product itself. No? So if you're a speaker, your product is your talent and skills on how to lead, to lead, to deliver speak, speaking engagement. If your product is a clinic, your medical or dental, your product is the actual results of your treatment. If your product is an agency or a, or a marketing agency or even a travel agency, your product is the is the the the, fare, the booking or the, the the airfare. So all of those things. Even if it's an idea, if you're a creative idea specialist, your product is your idea. Okay? So once you're able to identify that, now we can proceed with this one. Okay? So how do you do that? First, write down your FAB. Now, I'm pretty sure 
uh, for our Philippine advocates of consultants and trainers, you know what is if FAB means, no? So because you know a lot of of uh, individual, a lot of people in the business are actually trying to write down what are the benefits of 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 their products, what are the benefits of their business. So yeah, it's very important that we should be able to identify really benefits. But in this particular number one step in creating a marketing plan, I think it's very important to, to really identify not just the benefits, but also the F and the A. So when we talk about the F, it's called the features of your product. And when you talk about the A, it's all about the advantages of your product. I'm going to give you ex uh, uh, just a little example. If you're training consultants, uh, uh, business, if you do have that particular business, probably your features is so you are near in Metro Manila, you are easily accessible and CR. And one of the advantages is you have a group of staff that really uh, can follow it up and can can really do an after sales service. So that's good. That that will be an added FAB to your to your business. Next is write down what problems your product solves. Uh, so, diba? so if you are a dentist, if you're a medical practitioner, if you are a salespeople, if you are a car guy, uh, if you are if you are a consultant, so you have to write down what problems your your, your product solves. So if you're a dentist, you solve problems with you, to provide good teeth. If you're a medical clinic, you provide treatment. You no, know? you want the people to get well. If you are a training consultants, you wanted to deliver a special message so that you can address the, the need for their training camp for for their for their staff. So all of this must be written down. Okay, are you writing it down? I think you should write it down. Okay, so number one is to identify the product benefits because people, you know, you have to, we are all emotional. So we know when, when we touch the emotions of an individual, we can be able to get it done. Now, I proceed with number two. Okay, identification of your target market. How many people in the Philippines? We are 110 people living in the country. And you want to target all? You're too greedy. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, I would just like to make mention that if we do have 110 people in the Philippines, all of those are not your target. You have to identify your niche market. And this is, of course, that is another topic that would definitely give us another probably two hours for that. We're going to talk about the target market, the specific. So this is what I call a segmentation or market niche. So not everybody is your market. Okay, I think it was uh, actually discussed by. Uh, Malvin, the geographical, the sociological, the behavior of your clients. So this is what we call this. Dito na po lumalabas yung uh, you're creating a marketing plan, then identifying which is the right segment market for you. If you are training consultants, uh, we have identification of the target market. Are you gonna try the small, micro, medium enterprise, or are you still gonna try the the mid level company that 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 that, that needs to have more trainings, or are you gonna top the, the the huge multinational company. So you have to identify your market. No, not everybody's your market. Don't be too greedy. No. So kung kung may natatap ka na small medium enterprise and you're basically tapping also uh, a big corporation that that would probably the luck. You're so lucky. Okay. So God giving you the luck. But luck comes to those people that persevere. Luck comes to those people who are persistent in doing good positive business. No, luck doesn't come to those who wait. Luck doesn't come to those who are tamad. Okay, so we have to be happy. We have to be consistent. We have to be in. We have to persevere so that luck will just come our way, right? Next, so this is what we call the specific niche. Write down everything about your perfect customer needs or perfect clients. Oh, they are, are you going to target men and women? Are you going to target the, the children? No, if you're planning to have a garment business, which one is your target? If you're planning to have a baby clothes business, which one is your target? Are you, gonna, are you gonna try the kids or are you gonna try the mother or the father? So it's a totally different so different scenario. If you're going to touch uh, target kids and they can influence the mother, but the ma mother will also be will be the, the ultimate decision maker on that. So you have to be very, very careful. If you're not keen in doing marketing plan, you you can always consult people who have done that several several years or several businesses and where will i find these people no it's it's now in today's generation the least the leads are accessible 
I'll be able to identify that in a little later. We'll be able to discuss that also. Again, for those who are watching, thank you very much. Uh, for all my friends who are watching, magandang magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. For all the doctors who are watching, and also for my colleagues at Philippine Advocates for Consulting and Trainers, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. And let's keep on sharing this particular uh, video so that we'll be enjoying the moment while we are while we are staying at home. Uh, for this ECQ, we have to maximize this opportunity to learn new things. We have to maximize this opportunity to get together, be with our family, and uh, be productive while we are at home. Okay, let's proceed. I wanna, I wanna just share this with you. Now, usually every year, your story is traveling international to do a talk about marketing, just like in 2018. Uh, usually, once a year lang po, because I do have a lot of things to consider also while traveling. I have to prepare and I have to establish and several considerations in the in, in my business here. So basically, last 2018, I was I was invited uh, to talk about. Uh, marketing in Boston, Massachusetts. That's what in 2018. Last year, I was in Osaka, Japan, to deliver a talk also of uh, about marketing in in uh, in uh, holistic, no, holistic marketing. All right. So much for that. And of course, this is a classic, classic identification of your toes analysis. I discussed this also this morning, and this is what to call this is what to call so, uh, SWOT analysis. But I usually call this interchangeably by making it toast. I usually start with threats and I proceed with opportunities and I'll go again, I, I proceed with weaknesses and strengths. Let's talk about that in a little, of course, for those who are in fact, I'm pretty sure you know this, but uh, this is just my, one way of my presentation. When we are talking about all of this, we talk about strength. Uh, we talk about threats, sorry. We, when we talk about strengths, so you have, I'm sure you have your ball pen with you still. So you have to write the, obstacle that you face on a regular or even if your your anticipation of your obstacle obstacle or your anticipation of your test because if you're planning to put up a business marketing plan is needed so you have to identify you have to investigate what are the threats in that area okay so if you're planning to put a uh, sari sari store is there a sari sari store near your area so that could be a threat if you're planning to put up a uh, uh, consultancy industry. There are several consultancy all over, flying around in the in Manila. So I think it's a good opportunity for you to travel or to put up a company in the province. So so you have to weigh the options. Number two. So what are the goals in terms of your opportunities? So you have to have an opportunities also, just like in medical and dental. If you do have this discipline, are you still gonna learn uh, other discipline? If you're already a marketing graduate, do you want to study about management so this is a great opportunity for you so you always have to look into that but that can also be a weakness so in weakness naman, we try to deliver what do you need to improve so these are the things needed and of course what do you do well so these are your skills these are your talent but in doing this toast analysis you have to be very 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 honest with yourself okay so that is my recommendation. Uh, just write it down, all the threats and all the weakness. Because when we talk about threats and when we talk about weakness, these are all harmful. And when we talk about strength and when we talk about opportunities, these are all uh, beneficial. Okay? So, But when we talk about strength and when we talk about weakness, this is internal. And when we talk about threats and when we talk about opportunities, these are external. Okay, anything that is measurable, measurable, anything that is controllable, that is the way to go. Okay, so thank you very much. For those who are watching again, uh, shout out to you lahat. Now, uh, we've discussed the two preparation in creating a marketing plan. Number one is you have to identify your product benefits. Number two, you have to identify your target market. So you have to be specific in your target market. If you want to target 110 million in the Philippines, you are basically hitting the wrong target already. So that is not a good start. Now, I do have three action plans, and that composes our, that that completes our five steps. And this is what I call the thesis of marketing plan. Okay, so let's find out. So this is what I call create, capture, and convert. Okay, so I'd like to shout out with Dr. Kevin, who's a good partner of mine in Dental Marketing Philippines. 
magandang maganda nga siya yun. She, he's actually uh, from a clan pa. Ang layo ng pinanggalingan niya. But he's doing a lot of marketing. And they're interviewing him very, very soon. So we have three C's. Create, Capture, and Convert. And let's get started with Create. So when, we, when I talk about Create, it means only an offer. Okay? What does it mean? In this business or in your business, you should be able to have an offering. Everything, every time that, that, that you go out, you have something to offer. Every time that you go to a client, you have to offer something. Some, so, so when you are going to create a lot of things that, that needs to be discussed, no? uh, medyo mahaba po ito, no? but we have what I call the, the, the comparative parity, comparative uh, disadvantage, comparative advantage, and comparative uniqueness. So these are usually done when I do a lot of consultations, when I do a lot of alignment in a particular business. So when you're going to offer, I would just like, uh, before we proceed with the next one, I'd like to make mention, you read this. Can, you, can everybody read this? One, two, three. You never get a second chance to make a good first impression. First impression still exists. First impression makes a big difference in your offering, okay? So when you're going to offer something, it should not be a parity. It should not be a disadvantage. It should always be advantageous. It should always be beneficial. It should always create a very good first impression. And this is what I call IBC. IBS. So IBS, it's not in irritable bowel syndrome. That's for medical. IBS means initial benefit statement. Okay? So let's do it again. So when you're going to offer, you have to have an IBS. So this is what they call initial benefit statement. Okay? So eh, ano ba naman yung, you might be asking, Sir, what are the classic example of IBS? Ito po, magalig po kayo. Ito po, example lang po. So for example, you're, going, you're seated with, uh, with the clients already. Then I'm going to ask you, Hey, how are you? Then I'm going to sit down there. Sir, thank you, very, thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to sit down in front of you. I have good news for you. Then you stop and you shut up. Okay? You are creating an impression. Meaning of all the people in the world, all of us who wanted to hear good news, right? So when you talk about IBS, initial benefit statement, I have good news for you. Don't you want to hear that? Yes, you want to hear that. Good news, right? So you stop and talk about good news and you're good to go. You know? Close deal. Done deal. Okay? 99.9% .9 done. Okay? Now, next is we also be able to capture. When we talk about capture, I talk about capture, it equates to leads. So we do have a lot of leads today. And of course, in getting leads, Alam niyo naman po, ang pinakamaraming leads. In today's generation, we do a lot of uh, opportunity for us to be able to get all of these leads. And this is very important. And the last C is convert. So if you do have that particular offering, and if you coming from all these leads, and you should be able to convert that into sales. Of course, as I said earlier, in, in closing a sale, it's a totally different lecture. So I usually talk about closing sales step by step in the sales process, closing in different cycles. So I do have a lot of modules in terms of sales, but uh, it's going to take us uh, probably another uh, whole day for us to be able to discuss. So we have three C's of marketing plan. So we have two preparations, three C's, uh, create, capture, convert, because if you're going to convert, you must have innovations. Okay. Business only has two functions. You should be able to market, and at the same time, you never stop learning. If you cannot even say that you're the best trainers in the world, because they will be definitely better than you. No? We know for the fact that deep inside our mind, deep, deep inside our heart, we are the best. We have to believe that, that we are the best. Our company is the best. Our product is the best. But we cannot just brag about it. Let other people do the talking for us. All right? So let's proceed.
create, I will just sum it up, offering, if you're offering consultancy, training, programs, and this is also very important, and uh, series of discussions, also very important. That's for a while. And uh, if you do have, if you're creating an offer, if you are also uh, doing a training, if you are doing a program, and also doing a lot of lectures, it's also very important. So when you talk about creating an offer, it's a series of discussions and meetings. How much you're gonna charge? Usually I charge 50,000, so, but it's a series. And if you're doing a lot of uh, trainings or half day, full day or series, you should charge 10,000 to 30,000 programs a desired module that you yourself made. It should be patented. It should be registered under uh, IPO, 50,000 to 100,000. And if you're doing a lectures, usually 5,000 or 3,500 per hour. Okay. So that is creating. So uh, I would just like to sh share with you some of the creations of offering, some of the created offers that I did. So when I do presentations, I do a lot of training. Sometimes I, so sometimes I even give it for free. Don't you know why? Because all of these, all the listeners are my target market. And that would give me an opportunity to discuss who am I, what I do, and what I do best. And this is about consultancy, trainings, programs, and lectures. As you can see, all of the pictures taken, those are all my, my potential clients. And I did some of them are, not pala po yan, may bayad no, with the full accommodations. But, but I do offer still my services for free. No? So, because do naman po tayo nagsisimula, just like today, I'm sharing all of this for free. Because we firmly believe that in sharing, we will be more, uh, the, 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 the business will just flow and we will be more lucky uh, if we are sharing it for free for the Filipino people. Okay, next. So we have capture leads. Okay. I don't have to de de really discuss more about leads because there's a lot of opportunities for us to get leads and that also leads to sales. And sales, uh, we have what we call the closing techniques, but remember this. If you do have leads, make it a point that it will fall into your funnel. When you talk about funnel, this is the thing that you know best, okay? So that you can close best. All right. Now, and let's proceed with convert. So from that offering, I was able to convert. So this is a growth, profit, and income closing techniques needed to seal the deal. Okay. So these are the trainings alignments, which I did in, in several of my clients. Okay. So just to wrap up. So creating an offer, whatever your business is, whatever your product is, then leads. I'm sure you know where to get your leads and converting into sales that would, of course, give you the stability of your income. That would definitely bring you to a greater heights. Probably in, in five, ten years, you're going to be uh, sharing a lot of uh, good experiences to those who are starting up. Okay. And remember that, that uh, all of this will lead to happiness. Okay, then summary. Okay, I'm pretty sure uh, I, as I told you this is gonna be plain, simple, short, but a lot of meat in this presentation. Summary, we have discussed that marketing should always be profitable, identifying the needs and wants of the patient, or the patient, clients, customers, or our partners. And also we have to manage their expectation, and that is very important. Then the, we have identified also in doing creating a simple steps in marketing plan, you should have two preparation steps and you must have three action steps. No? Dalawang pagsusulat and tatlong paggawa. So that is what we call the summary of marketing plan. And my final advice is you have to be like this logo. So what is this logo? Ayan, tama po kayo. Tama po kayo sa sagot nyo. What is that logo? Again? Yes. I will not mention the name. I will not mention the, the, the brand, but you write it down there. You're correct. And the other, the, other, the other advice is also buy a logo. What is this logo? I'd like to make mention that uh, we have several friends who have joined with us. What is the logo? The logo is, you're correct again. You know, you know the logo, so you're very familiar with, with the sports, with the athletic brand. So the other one is, Nothing is impossible if you just put focus on your on your on your mind on, on your things that you'd like to achieve. And number two is just do it. If you have these things in mind, nothing is impossible, but you just have to do it. Okay. So uh, again, 
marketing takes a day to learn, just like today, but it takes a lifetime to master. You know? from, from your master of uh, it took me four years to study this, it took me another two years, and it took me another 22 years to really concentrate on focusing and enhancing my skills of a, being a marketing man. And this is my another another uh, quote. This is actually from your street. Our memory is perfect, our recall isn't. Our memory is perfect, our recall isn't. Okay? And that's about it. And thank you for watching. Again, I'm Ross Ruiz, the Vice President of Philippine Advocates for Consultant and Trainers, and a proud member of this TAC. This is a great organization. Thank you, thank you very much. President Myron, how are you? Uh, good, Gabi. Dami kong uh, natutunan sa inyo. Uh, uh, Master Roche, if I may call you uh, <laughs> as Master Roche. And uh, uh, before we go to my uh, comment and question, Master Roche, uh, we would just like to acknowledge the Mr. Malvin Dinlasan. He's uh, watching right now. Ang sabi niya sa inyo, Master, I, yes, sharing is caring. Generosity is priceless. Yes, yes, yes. At ang sabi din niya ay, uh, mahal bayad kay Mr. Roche. We are blessed. We got him free for this. <laughs> <laughs> and last may pahablo pa siya. Thanks, Roche. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. And uh, ako, well, so far, there is no one who's uh, asking questions yet. But ako, Master, uh -huh. meron akong uh, question. Nung nagsisimula ka pala sa business mo, now, I'm also asking on behalf of all of those who want to enter yes. the world of entrepreneurship or who want to enhance their practice. Uh, ano yung pinaka-challenging na experience mo sa marketing na gusto mo sana ay iwasan ng mga ka-impact natin or kaya naman they have to prepare for? And paano nyo na overcome yung obstacles along the way? Yeah, that's a very good question. And it's, it's going to be, it's also a very tough one, no? Uh, but uh, if you're talking about experience, so you'll never go wrong with experience. No, I would just like to to share with you that tama uh, yung tinanong mo. If you wanna be successful in doing your business, particularly, no, for me in marketing, hindi mo na kailangan maranasan pa na magfail. All you have to do is just get the consultants who've done that, did that, done that, and we also have to get mentor who have done that and went through the experiences. So you don't have to pass through that same experiences in terms of failure. So a lot, because my background, uh, Mentor Myron, is pharmaceutical. I've been in the pharmaceutical industry for 17 years, which actually handles a lot of training continuously for, for consecutive every, every year. We do have a three months training. So a lot of uh, uh, small, medium enterprise or business, business who, uh, businessmen uh, who really ventured into a business they thought when they because they have an experience in other company in a big multinational company and they wanted to put up their business that's actually where the failure begins because they would want to apply those that are being applied in a multinational company into their business that's why mm. uh yung kanilang uh, marketing fans nauubos kaagad yung kanilang uh, training fans because they would really want to right away adapt that kind of culture and momentum in their small baby business that's never gonna go up that's never gonna go good so you have to start up you have to you have to continuously research or you have to start up with your own minimal capitalization and minimal exposure in terms of marketing advertising so that will make a big difference in, in, in starting up your business. So, so doon na, do, yun ang napaka-classic na failure ng mga nagsisimulang magnegosyo. They would want to go big right away, but it should be a step ladderized uh, system that you have to follow. There's no secret to success. It should always, Correct. you always have to be uh, uh, PIC. This is what they call PIC. You have to have perseverance. You have to have uh, Insistency in terms of positivity, and you have to have the letter C consistency in business. Wow, ang ganda ng pick, parang short for uh, picture. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Master Roche. I'm pretty sure na naging value adding yung inyong sagot sa mga uh, nanunood o nakikinig sa atin ngayon na mas maganda talaga yung proactive no? instead of reactive. And one of the best preventive controls is to get a mentor 
just like what you experienced yes. uh, yourself. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, President Mara, I would just like to make mention again for those, uh, for those siguro makakapanood ng replay nito and also for those who are currently watching, uh, there's no harm in getting mentors. There's no harm in getting consultants. We might, we might think that I'm already okay. I'm, I'm already good. No, you never, you never know that. Uh, uh, me even, I do have small little businesses. No, but I still get mentors. I, that, that uh, sometimes my mentors tends to be my tormentors. But all of these are just for the benefit of who am I today. So it's better to have a consultants and uh, a trainers that will guide also our businesses. Okay, thank you, Master Roche. And Master, uh, i-acknowledge lang natin yung mga nanonood right now. We have uh, Miss yes. Pinky Sharma. Thank you po for tuning in. Miss Mary Jane Sulaya, of course, our beloved uh, partner, Ka-Impact. And then, uh, sorry, I'm not sure if this is his or her real name, but you, you lang, and then Tai. Well, uh, welcome, and thank you for tuning in. Mr. Richard Rehidor. Of course, our partner, Mr. Uh, Malvin Dinlazan, Mr. Alvin John Terias, Mr. Roger Rosanes uh, Dimapili, Dimapilis, Mr. Bong Sache, and I believe we have two more, but I cannot see them on the window anymore. Okay, thank you po for uh, watching ang live stream po natin. Sa mga makakamiss po ng live stream na ito, don't worry kasi automatic po itong nasa page na natin. Kaya you can just replay this. I have another question yeah. dito, uh, Master Roche. Uh, kasi, oh, I mean, during your presentation, sinabi mo na dapat talaga yung papasuking negosyo na magiging highlight din ng marketing plan would be talagang niche mo, no? Pero yes, yes. Kung, kayo, kung kayong tatanungin, Master Roche, eh, anong mas pipiliin nyo? Uh, hindi mo interest, hindi mo passion, hindi mo expertise, pero talaga namang uh, renowned the profitable yung negosyo iyon? O interest mo, passion mo, expertise mo, pero hindi kasing profitable ng other businesses or business ideas out there. Ano po ba ang mas uh, maganda? I, I hope I get the question right. Uh, I would definitely advise, you know, this is my on my personal opinion and also from the professionals and for the some of the successful businessmen that, that I've, I've uh, encountered along the way, if mm -hmm. it's gonna be your passion, if it's gonna be your passion, if it, this, uh, these are the things that you like to do, you're never gonna work. And the, 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 chance, the chance of getting, getting there, a ladder of the ultimate success on top would be just as easy as that. So uh, if it's gonna be your passion, if it's gonna be your skill, you have a skill set for that, you're not gonna work. You're just gonna continuously enjoying and sharing what you do. And aside from that, you're going to provide a food on the table for your family. And, and life should be enjoyed to the fullest. So, so I, my advice, my personal advice is whatever is your skill set, whatever is your passion, then just dig into it and put more attention in building it. Research, uh, enjoy, and do a lot of works in terms of attaining that particular goal. If it's going to be your passion, the things that you like, and somewhere you are skillful, you're never going to work. You're just going to enjoy Correct. everything that you do. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah. And Master Roche, kaya ako kasi natanong, marami tayong mga kakilala, kaibigan, kapamilya, na madali silang mag-jump on the bandwagon kapag may lumapit sa kanila at nagsabi sa kanila, uh, halika, pumama sa akin. Laki ng kita dito. Don't worry, tuturuan ka namin. Pero along the way, they find out na yung pinasok nila, oo, oh, talagang lucrative yun, maganda kitaan, pero they realize na hindi nila interest, passion. So along the way, uh, parang yes, nawawala din yung sigla gana sa ginagawa eh, no? Yeah, correct, correct. So that's 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 a perfect example. So okay, I'd like to then, make mention uh, also sa Meron dito mga ano no si si brother Matthew Doming, uh, si uh si nagwatch party rin kasi ako si Miss Army Elena and Mr. Ricardo and some other friends from Saudi and Riyadh also uh, watch our show. Well, thank you very much. Okay, thank you guys for uh, watching. And uh, sa mga kasalukuyang pong nanonood, if you, pag meron po kayong mga pahabol na tanong, comment, suggestion, or whatever uh, remarks po, please, please let us know so that while we still have uh, Mr. Roche, Master Roche, ay uh, maitanong na po natin sa kanya. Okay, by the way, yeah. Master, habang nag pa tayo ng mga additional uh, questions, 
gusto ko lang sana uh, i-acknowledge yung ganda ng sinabi mo kanina eh. Yung preparation twice and then action thrice. O tat dalawang preparation, tatlong action. Parang this really Correct. validate na oo, mahalaga ang pagpaplano, paghahanda, no, pag i strategize pero mas lalong mas mahalaga ang gawin mo yung pinlano o ini-strategize mo, no? Tama, tama. Oo. Uh, everybody can plan. Everybody can create uh, a, a specific write-ups. Everybody or even even elementary can write down what what are the things that you do. But uh, uh, the most important thing is you do you ha you have to act now. Just like my final advice, the logo of a certain brand. Uh, the other logo is nothing is impossible, and the other logo is just do it. No, if you're thinking that this this is uh, your skill set, this is passion, you just continue to do it. Meron pa nga isa dun eh, yung battery brand, my final advice. Uh, battery brand, and uh, ang, ang tagline naman nila is just keep on going. Keep on going, never gets tired. All right. Thank you so much, Master. And uh, sa mga nanonood po, kung uh, hindi pa po nila alam, si Master Roche Ruiz MBA ay ang uh, Vice President for Internal Affairs po ng ating uh, mahal na organisasyon at siya din po ang Committee Head on Professional Education. So, Master Roche, gusto mo po ba silang bigyan ng preview sa ating uh, pinaghahandaang July 25, 2020 big event? Yes, yes. Thank you very much, uh, President Myron. Uh, you know, mga mga kaibigan, no? you know, mga kapak. And for those who are interested in building a community of trainers, consultants, speakers, and if you just want to learn, if you just want to share, you know, and then get some wisdom from all of the roster that we have. Alam nyo, marami po kami mga roster na magagaling, marami po kami mga mga roster, ah, marami po kami mga members na talagang mga pinaghahandaan yung mga kanilang trabaho. And we are actually preparing the big launch This is going to be July 25 and, uh, in Ortigas. So this is in the center of NCR. And we are going to invite top individuals who, who is really performer in terms of speaking, in terms of consultancy, in terms of trainers. And uh, ngayon pa lang po, we are inviting all of you because we have a limited seat. So we are only going to block up probably 100. And uh, we are 55 members. So kalahati na po is puno na agad. So we are trying to invite each and every great speakers, and then uh, also for those who are who wanted to be to be a speaker also at the same time, we will also teach you step by step on how to become a great mentor like uh, our founding president, Mr. Mayor. Thank you so much uh, for that, uh, Master Roche. Master, meron na lang po humabol na question. Si Mr. Charlie Garcia and uh, if I may share master ano si Mr. Charlie Garcia ay talagang na uh, interesado po siya na mag-join ng PAC. Yun nga lang talagang at uh, siya po ang kasalukuyang trainer ng uh, Department of uh, Tourism. So wow. internal corporate trainer po siya ng Department of Tourism. Lahat po ng mga programa ng, ng DOT ay siya po ang nagko-conduct. And si Mr. Charlie Garcia ang question po niya ay what is the best platform to market your programs among the so many Well, ang sinulat niya, question mark. Pero I guess there's so many target market or audience. It depends upon the program. Uh, it always depends. Uh, Sir Charlie, I think that is a very good question. That is uh, usually the common question that we get. No, but uh, I'd like to make mention that uh, I do uh, train a lot of, uh, of uh, also for the medical and dental tourism. So because my profession is in the dental and medical And that's why, but I do a lot of marketing procedures. So it depends on the module. So if our module is basically targeting a uh, small, medium enterprise, so there are a lot of, of uh, leads in capturing those leads. It can be from social media, website, etc. But if we're basically trying to capture bigger market, like international market, the best way is to have a platform in terms of international exposure. So sa mga medical, wellness, and dental, meron po kami tinatawag na uh, medical apps or dental apps. And this will expose you globally under uh, the, just the click of your, your fingertips. So depending on your module, depending on the product that you want to sell, if, you are sell, if you're selling training, consultancy on the micro, small, medium enterprise, probably social media, and the right offering of individual covering that particular business, On the face-to-face -face physical approach with the six or three cycle of the business, 
that would be the right way to do. So more on physical presentation of what you can do and what you can bring to the table when you are talking about the segmented small medium enterprise uh, market. Thank you, Master Roche. And uh, meron din pong uh, humabol from our live video comments. Si Mr. Roger Dimapilis, I believe he's one of the friends of our uh, dear friend, Ms. May Sulayaw. Salamat po, mga sir, for the knowledge you share, sabi niya. Uh, yeah, you're very much welcome. You're going to learn a lot from, from this site, so from this page. And uh, just keep on watching, keep on following this page. You're definitely on the right on the right page. Certainly. And uh, Master Rocha, before we let we go, uh, meron po ba kayong gustong i-plug? Like, uh, saan po ba namin kayo makikita your social media websites or addresses? Meron po ba kayong gusto i-promote na libro or upcoming event? This is your opportunity. Go ahead, Master. Yeah. Uh, supposedly the launch of my book. So this is also I'd like to take this opportunity for 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 uh, for me to invite all of you that I'll be coming up with a book. Uh, supposedly the launch is April three, but I think uh, we're going to postpone it by one month or two months, depending on this this scenario, de depending on this pandemic. So, uh, gusto ko lang po sabihen na marami pong naapektuhan dito sa pagkakataon na tayo ay nasa enhanced community quarantine. But my advice is just to continuously pray and continuously uh, just continue to stay home. Just be productive, just like what you have done today. What you, really we we deliver a great uh, topic for today, and then uh, our president is continuously uh, guiding us to give you a better lectures, better presentation, better webinar for us to be uh, to to be productive. And uh, yeah, you can just like my page, my YouTube channel, Rochi Perez. Just type in, you'll see my face there. I'm 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 all over the social media. So again, uh, maraming maraming salamat, uh, President Mentor Myron. Sa mga PAC member, I miss you, and I love you all. <laughs> and, and lastly, Master. Uh, well, it's not a secret, no man, that our live stream is uh, can be watched not only by fellow trainers, speakers, and consultants, members or non-members man, but general public na rin. Kung meron pong mga gustong uh, kumonsulta sa inyo, kung paano, you know, to get more details about how to write a marketing plan, how do they get in touch with you? They can always get in touch with me by uh, PM or I, I'm, I'm gonna leave my my uh, number siguro. Siguro it would be uh, the best way or you can, you can just check out my Facebook. You can just uh, message me there. That would be the best avenue for us to communicate better, communicate easier. And I definitely would like to reply one by one because we do have a lot of time uh, to think and create a marketing plan. I would just like, this is the last one probably. As, as I discussed this uh, in the previous slides, I do have a lot of partners in, in, in different countries, more on Europe, you know, uh, because of this community quarantine. So just like me, I'm already creating a marketing plan because. My marketing plan last year, so I created that uh, November last year, and should be implemented. And we, we are being, we are actually implementing it January, February. You no, know, but uh, this, 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 this uh, pandemic happens, so I have to change my marketing plan. So I'm doing a marketing plan for the third quarter and fourth quarter of this year, and I've already discussed things over with all of my suppliers, with all of my my, my partners. And they are amenable, amenable to my marketing plan, to my revised marketing plan for the second half of the year. So we're very excited. So th those are the things that you have to do. So marketing plan is a great avenue for, it's like a blueprint for your house. But along the way, there is some technicalities, may mga variations, may konting pagbabago, di ba? nag additional ng materiales, nagkakakulang ng materiales, nagbabago yung laki, nagbabago ang haba. But that is definitely a good guide. But when this opportunity and where this, uh, this uh, unfortunate event happens, we have to adapt to change. So that is the thing that I uh, also would like to advise for those who are prepared, who have prepared marketing plan for, for 2020. And for those who are going to start a business, the best way to start a business is second Sec or third quarter of this year. So you have to create a six-month marketing plan. There you go. Thank you, Master Rocho. May humabol pa si Doc RV, yung uh, early afternoon resource person natin sabi, thank you for sharing your expertise. You're very much welcome. Okay, so there you go, guys. Once again, that's uh, Master Rocho Ruiz, MBA.
the president of KJR Dental Clinics, the Marketing Philippines and Master Academy, and of course, the VP for Internal Affairs ng PAC Incorporated. Master, thank you so much, and may you have thank a you. good night. All right, bye. Good night. Good night. All right, there you go. So uh, hopefully po lahat tayo ay uh, maraming natutunan kung paano magsulat, maghanda ng isang marketing plan. Yung simplified, grabe. Parang alam mo yung isang rocket science na discussion ay naging parang elementary topic lang dahil sa pagkaka-explain. Napakaganda ng presentation ng ating VP for Internal Affairs, ang master himself, si Mr. Roche Ruiz. Once again, Sir Roche, maraming salamat. And uh, alam kong uh, pagod ka na, dami mong uh, tinrabaho ngayong gabi ito. So thank you so much for your valuable time and may you enjoy the rest of your evening. At sa atin pong mga tagasubaybay ng usapang partners, gusto lang po namin iparating ang aming uh, pasasalamat dahil uh, sa inyong walang sawang pagsubaybay, pagtangkilik sa Philippine Advocates for Consultants and Trainers Incorporated. Ang PAC Incorporated po ay ginawa ng mga trainer speakers, consultants, facilitators at para sa mga kapwa din naming trainer speakers, consultants and facilitators. Okay? We would like to identify ourselves more as a, a community, a network, an alliance or a support system than a professional organization or association because we believe in collaboration. That's a coined term ng organization kung saan uh, tayo man ay uh, pare-pareho ng mga topics na tinuturo. Okay, at the end of the day, we are different people with different styles, techniques, approaches, and different contents. So, hindi po natin kailangan mag-compete. Ang kailangan po natin ay collaboration. At, uh, well, hindi lang napaka-dami ng kliyente. You know, the, the pizza pie is so big na lahat tayo can dip in. Okay, hindi lang po yung dahil doon. Kasi, you know what, uh, in this knowledge economy, all right? mas kailangan po ng ating mga mahal na kapwa Pilipino na mga kagaya natin. Trainer, speaker, consultant, facilitator, advisor, we all call ourselves thought leaders. And it is in being able to educate, equip, encourage, engage, entertain, empower, exemplify, and escort to success yung mga kapwa Pilipino natin na nagkakaroon sila ng mental strength and stability na kung ano man ang mga dagok na dumating sa ating buhay, ito, ito national situation ng COVID-19, basta meron kang ganito, at meron kang ganito, puso, na tayo mismo, na mga trainer, speakers, facilitators, consultants, ang kayang uh, mag, mag, magpuno at magpalakas, then walang dago ka hindi natin kay, uh, hindi natin, alam mo yun, uh, na walang dago sa, sa kapaligiran natin ang hindi natin malalagpasan. So maraming salamat po once again. And because uh, wala na po tayong time, for the remaining minutes, I would just like to Invite if you are, okay, a new or if you are still planning to become a trainer, speaker, consultant, facilitator, advisor, you want to enter the world of thought leadership, you want to enter the world of making authentic impact, you want to enter the world of education, equipping and encouragement, then inaanyayahan po namin kayo na sumali sa Philippine Advocates for Consultants and Trainers short pack. At amin po kayong gagabayan sa pamamagitan ng aming six piece of advocacy or main trust, professional education, katulad po nito. Ito po'y online lang. Meron din po tayong mga offline or face-to-face -face in person na mga oportunidad. Meron din po tayong proper networking. Ibibridge po namin kayo, hindi lang sa mga oportunidad, kung hindi na rin sa mga tao. Katulad nga na sabi ni mentor or rather Master Roche kanina is, uh, you know, the best way to set yourself up for success is to get mentors. So, ibibridge po namin kayo sa mga mentors and coaches na makakatulong sa inyo at magda-guide sa inyo patungo sa success dito sa karerang ito. And syempre, meron din po tayong protection, mapaligal, mapapinansyal, mapa-psychological, mapa-emotional, mapa-psychosocial, spiritual, lahat po ng mga klase ng protection, all right, we will provide to you as being your support system. Nandyan din po ang uh, prosperity opportunities kung saan kami po ay gumagawa, nagkikreate po kami, nagdedevelop po kami ng business para mabigyan po kayo ng pagkakataon na sa inyo pong pagsali at pag-join sa mundo ng thought leadership, eh hindi po magiging napakahirap. Well, hindi namin padadaliin, mahirap po talaga ang journey to becoming a successful trainer, speaker, consultant. Pero dahil may support system po kayo in us, we will facilitate it, we will make it less complicated if not easy. And syempre, nandyan din po ang public group or uh, rather public responsibility, that's our corporate social responsibility. 
at naniniwala po kami na tayo mismo mga trainer, speaker, facilitator, consultant, okay, ang kailangan ng Pilipinas na ito, hindi lamang para bumangon kung ano mga economic situation meron tayo ngayon, pero para palakasin ang isipan at ang kakayahan at kahusayan at kagalingan ng ating mga kapwa Pilipino. Once again, this is your mentor Myron Santa Ana, the founder and president of the Philippine Advocates for Consultants and Trainers Incorporated or PAC na nagsasabing, pahinga na po tayo, we deserve it. And let's get ready for another week of strength and positivity. Good night, guys. Bye.